Jaffa, narrow defeat at Sutton this afternoon. Do you feel we deserve something from that today? Yeah, I thought so. Um, always a hard place to go, as uh, the experiences have told us before. But I think for a relatively new team, I thought we, we looked organised throughout, worked hard. You know, you have to um, handle the storm at times, which, which we did. Got back into the game with a really good, um, obviously, lead up to the, to the penalty where we had that passage of play and kept the ball in, in around the final third. And so, you know, I think we should, we're being positive about the performance, you know, as I say the, uh, the average age across the middle four um, in the second half is very, very young. We've got more seniority to come in, but, um, you know, if we can keep learning lessons that inevitably you learn at places like this and experienced squads, then, um, then obviously we'll be stronger for it. Going into half time at one all. As you mentioned, we have to withstand an awful lot of pressure in that first half, but we were pleased with the way we dealt with it. I thought particularly Pete James and goal coming out and commanding his area and some real great defensive contributions from Kane as well in terms of last-ditch challenges and mm. headers inside his own box. Yeah, and that's what every defence has to do here. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, they'll draw someone in the FA Cup and no doubt knock them out you know, on a tight pitch like this. they put it in the box, ask questions. You know, it's a conveyor belt of, of big units that come off the bench and help their cause, and their game plan really worked. But I also thought we we fought really hard today. I think there were some exceptional individual performances. Um, great to see Luke on the, the score sheet. Um, I thought Joe Matic was, was stand out. You know, over the two teams, really, the, the amount of headers he won and his reading of the game. So. Also, debutants coming in. Josh Coley didn't even train with us yesterday. We had two efforts that have hit, hit the woodwork. Um, we scored a goal, made an opportunity near the end, and with a bit of, bit more composure in the final third at times, we could have come away with at least a point. Yeah, I was going to mention those two debutants. So unlucky not to get on the score sheet with brilliant efforts that came off the woodwork. You must have been encouraged having just brought them in and showing what they can do already. Yeah, I thought we were a lot more on the front foot today. Um, got the ball forward quicker. Um, you, you know, because any team that are tipped happy in this pitch against these, you know, they gobble up because they're good at what they do. Um, but I thought we uh, stood toe to toe and, and put in a really good shift. So there's nothing negative from my point of view. A two-one down. We saw a red card for George Norbury. Do you feel that was a, a correct decision? Or is that your swimming? Yeah, you know I'd have to see it again. You know, George is a fully committed lad, and you know, he's. Um, He's doing great for us, you know, he's, and he's a brilliant lad, so, you know, I, if he's unlucky, then it's in the harshest of circumstances he's had to be sent off, but um, he's a fully committed lad and we don't want to stop him getting stuck in, you know, it's, uh, like I say, it, it was a committed game from both sides and some people won't like that um, and it'll offend some people in the modern day, but for us, we, we thought we were in a great battle today, but um, narrowly lost it, but we'll use all the experience from this game you know, moving forwards, whether it's, you know, winding down the clock, they do it very cleverly, very well, because, you know, that's the way to win games at this level is being canny. Thank you. Cheers.